I'm Caspi and welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited today to show you a little trick that I learned along the way while doing bridal alterations. So today we're going to do a tutorial on how to do the perfect drop sleeve. So for a couple months now I've been working on this fabulous white sparkly glitter tool mermaid gown. It's got a cool overskirt to go with it but it's missing just the finishing touch of the perfect little sleeve to go across. So today I'm going to show you how to accomplish this really fun pleated tool sleeve. So this is a little bit different than just your standard drop sleeve, but I'm going to walk you through the pattern, the shape of it, how many layers we're going to cut out, and then ultimately how to drape pleated tool across the pattern that you've already made, and then attach it to your gown. So let's get started with our fabrics for today. So first we're going to start with our outer layer. So this is our glitter tool that we've been using. I got this from Secret Sparks and the link to their shop is also in the bio. They have a ton of incredible different fabrics, but this is their white glitter tool. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit of a close up. You can see that it drapes really nicely, it sparkles in the light, and it looks really fabulous on body. Our second fabric that we're going to be working with for the actual base of these sleeves, we're going to cut out four total pieces of this. One that's going to be the line that sits on the inside, so it's the liner almost. We're going to have another layer in between that and the pleated tool on the outside. The glitter tool is a little bit abrasive and so that it doesn't irritate your skin, you want to have a little bit of a buffer and that middle section is important so that you actually have something to secure your pleats to so it doesn't show through on the other side. So this is our beautiful organza. I also got this from Secret Sparks. This is a gorgeous matte organza which is really hard to find and you can see that it's sheer but the overall weight to it drapes really nice. It's very soft and then she of course has lots of different varieties in white and also like a light ivory. So this is a light ivory that we're gonna be using today. So let's begin first by talking about our pattern piece and why it looks the way that it does. So we're going for something that really drapes nice and fluidly across the arm. And to do so, you need a little bit of a dip, both on the top section and the bottom section so that it looks really nice and smooth. So we have our instructions here that say to cut on the fold. So we're gonna end up with a piece that's exactly symmetrical across on the side. So you're looking at kind of like a banana. So for the instructions that I have written on here, we have our grain line being up and down. So that means we're gonna cut it on the grain. This specific pattern does not have seam allowance included just because uh, this is particular to this one instance. And so normally I'll just go ahead and add seam allowance when I place it down onto my fabric. So we're going to want to cut this on the fold, and like I said before, we're going to cut four total pieces out of our organza fabric, and then we're going to end up draping our glitter tool on top of this, and so I will show you the draping part actually in a video. So let's get our pieces cut out first. Okay, so now we've got our little banana shapes cut out. This is the one layer. This is its second layer. We cut out four total, but I'm just going to do a little demo on the one sleeve for today. So we have our layers. What we're going to do is we're going to take one panel and we're going to actually pin it to our dress form that has our arm form onto it as well. And then we're going to take our sparkle tool and we're going to drape across it and pin as we go. So you guys can actually see in real time the process of what that looks like to drape it across.
Okay, so now we have our fabulous little drape. The reason that we did it on the dress form is because you can see how even now, it looks like it's kind of rippling more than it should, but the only way to know how it looks good is if it's on the dress form. So that's why we did it that way. So the first thing that we're gonna do in the next step is to go ahead and stitch all the way around this outer edge. I'm just gonna do a five point stitch width so that if you happen to see it at, at the end, then you can just kind of remove that. So let's do that next. Okay, so at this point, you can kind of see that it's all secured all the way around the outer edges. You see maybe on this side a little bit better. Well, we did that so that nothing slides around when we ultimately come to add our inner layer here. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and secure our pleats. So I'm gonna use clear thread so it's kinda hard to see. But the point is so that these pleats, whenever it's on body, actually cover the stitch. And that's how we're gonna get away with tacking it. And that's why we haven't added this layer yet so that the tacks that'll ultimately show through on the underside won't whenever we get the rest of it put together. Okay, so at this point, we're finally gonna take our inner liner, quote unquote lining, it's the extra piece of organza that we cut, and we're gonna stitch it around the top and the bottom edge at a quarter of an inch. So we did our five point stitch length about an eighth of an inch from the edge. So stitching this at a quarter is gonna hide all of that, and then we're gonna press the seams open, turn it right side out, and then you're gonna see how nice it looks all together. So now that you can see we've got this nice and pressed, this is giving us more of that original drape that we were looking for. And on the inside, you can see that we don't have any of those stitches showing through because we had that panel in the middle that keeps all of these pleats nice and secure. So the last step is we're going to secure these raw edges that you see on the sides here. We're gonna take more organza, we're gonna fold it in half and stitch it down, and we're gonna attach it here and roll it over. So let's do that last part. the end of the tutorial for today. I am so excited about how smooth and how clean this looks. I hope you guys learned a little bit from this video and I hope that it helps you in your projects that are coming up. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts and your questions, so please leave those in the comment section. 
Don't forget, of course, to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next week.